come no one has ever not made this film before? Why has no one ever made a really expansive, in-depth film about the women's movement? How come there's so many other films on so many other subjects, but not this one? And so that was kind of my crystallizing moment. It was a question of figuring out who had interesting stories, who would be good on camera, and how do we show the amazing diversity? I didn't want to do sort of like, well, in this month this happened, and in that month that happened. I didn't think that that was useful. But to me, when you make any kind of film, part of what you're thinking about is you're thinking about your audience. And you're thinking about your audience, and you're thinking about what you think they know about the subject and what they need to know in, from your perspective. And since, so when you make a film like this, that's what you're thinking of first. You're thinking, what do most people think about the early women's movement? What are their biases? What are they, um, or what are the areas that just are not explored at all? You know, you see some of the same arguments coming up that we just are having again today. It's like, how many times are we going to argue about, like, uh, do men get to make in Congress all the decisions about women's bodies without even consulting a single woman? Well, yeah, it's still happening. And I just feel that, you, you know, unless you want to invent the re reinvent the wheel a hundred thousand times, isn't it useful to know how other people did these struggles? Small groups of what you call ordinary women do these amazingly brave and brilliant things with, you know, no money, just motivation, and that's what I wanted to show. This is what a feminist looks like! This is what a feminist looks like! This is what a feminist looks like!